right, good morning guys. Sunday swap meet day. Forgot to bring the camera, the GoPro. But uh good thing I didn't. There wasn't anything there anyway. All I bought was <clears throat> these some Klein tools. Journeyman Sub Newman. Journeyman 150 years. <clears throat> bought them for five bucks. So, whatever. Uh, I went, asked the guy how much he wanted for him. He said five bucks. And then uh, I walked away. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going let to him, let him go like the flashlight last time. So, I went back by and some other dude was holding him. And the other dude asked how much. And he said seven bucks. And he put him down. He walked away. I grabbed him, gave the guy five bucks. And he goes, hey, you told me seven. He's like, yeah, but I told him five earlier <laughs> anyway all right i got way too much crap to do way too much stuff to do i don't know if i'm gonna have <clears throat> time to i i don't know um i'm gonna i gotta get that light up in the shipping container i got wanna cut holes for this i did buy sawzall blades or jigs jigsaw blades because i don't want to throw any sparks um i got switches i got battery Terminal clamps. <clears throat> um, I did buy some more, but they're wrong. But I'm going to make them work. So for the toy hauler, these are going to go on the toy hauler. Possibly. I, I don't really know. I got some other stuff in my brain that I'm going to try. I'm going to be everywhere today. Everywhere and everywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing uh, NASCAR style installing. Oh, I got to change the tires on the front of this Audi because these morons at Discount Tire in Colorado. Rotation that way. What? What? I'm just driving in reverse. My fault. I didn't notice it. So, but their fault they did it. These ones are fine. <clears throat> Those have the rotation going the proper way. All right. Excuse me. All right. First up on the list, what I bought at Harbor Freight. Bought some hose clamps because you never know. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at my total. $39.32. Look at that total. $29.42. Original price seventy two dollars. Anyway, this is what I bought. <clears throat> I saw it yesterday when I went to Harbor Freight, and uh, uh, yeah, A motorcycle. Anyway, <clears throat> said it was missing a part. What a weenie. There's a bonehead. <laughs> he sees people and revs it up. Whatever. I used to do that. Anyway, I saw this yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate a big old burrito. So I saw this yesterday. Let me get to it. And uh, I was like 45, 46 bucks. Not not bad for this. Uh, let's see if I can't pull this sticker off. Let's see. Original, <clears throat> original price, $72.99. So, <clears throat> I've been wanting to buy one of these for a while, but man, it's 70 Oh, I was like, what? 11 bucks? But that says a nine-piece wobble socket set. But anyway, <clears throat> so I went in there this morning went to to buy it and uh, I knew that the 20% coupon wouldn't work because I don't work on open boxed items clearanced items so um, just put that there anyway so when I went to go check out the lady they had to call a manager because they have to call manager for discounted price stuff open box stuff I don't know why. Um, 
But anyway, that 11 something's not for this. If you didn't hear me. Um, I don't know where I'm going. So she comes up. She she rings goes to ring it up. <clears throat> the guy rang it up. 72 bucks, what it came up to be. And uh, I'm just trying to see what that says. Oh, it's just one ticket. All right, so she she rings it up for seventy two ninety nine. Uh, she writes this price down, then she looks at it and goes, she looks at the date nine fifteen twenty twenty. She said it's been more than two weeks, so they have to take twenty percent off. So it came down to thirty six bucks, and then she told me that the twenty percent coupon wouldn't work, and when I checked out, it worked. <clears throat> so I don't. Know. I got this for 29 bucks. It's a, like a pilot bearing puller. So that goes into the bearings. And then you, it's a little slide hammer. And then you just pull it out. Doesn't, the only one that looks a little bit used is this one. That's the only thing I saw were those, those threads. <clears throat> it looked like they've been used. Other than that, and then on the little flare down here that little flare it looks like it's was stuck in somewhere and and they used it so anyway that's a score that's a deal I'll take it um but yeah I don't know pretty excited for this because I wanted one for a while and now I got one I should have just bought it yesterday well I'm glad I didn't buy it yesterday because she wouldn't have given me the price all right, what else I got? What else I got back here? Toy hauler, that battery. And here, <clears throat> this battery is coming out. It's an AGM battery. AGM? I don't remember what they call it. I think it's AGM. Um, it's a 110 amp hour battery. 520 amp, 12 volt. <clears throat> That's gonna go on my solar crap in the barn because those batteries are better for it and then I'm gonna stick these two batteries on the toy hauler finally found a small little grease gun and uh, yeah these are Walmart batteries one-year warranty 650 cold cranking amp battery blah 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 wow 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 um, but yeah, so those are 54 bucks a piece. I got some swamp cooler vents because every time our because of the fires, every time we turn our swamp cooler on, the smoke is baked into them. And I got some grease. I got some more fittings. Some more junk. Now this junk. Some wires. So I got a lot to do, and I don't have any time to do it. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go throw this light in, <clears throat> wire this light up, throw the light in, wire this light up. I'm going to make a two by or a plywood thing for this. And I don't know if I'm going to video it all cause I got to get it done. And the 10, 15 minutes of me walking around babbling, that's 10, 15 minutes I need. So anyway, guys, um, dirt bike, it's probably going to need some carburetor. The carburetor bowl gasket, front fork seals, and I think wheel bearings. The bearings in the front hub are uh, are shot. And uh, yeah, these are. I guess I guess these are just stock wheels. DID Japan. Um, this might be. A stock hub I looked up this JP company and they're a uh, like a coating company they do coatings and uh, like scaling like descaling so like uh, for cast parts <clears throat> uh, they take all the scaling all the rough edges off so it'd kind of be like like this where it's rough and then you'd have a smooth surface and then it looks like they anodized them because I'm pretty sure these are just stock wheels and hubs. Um, but anyway, and I think it needs brake pads up front. 
brake pads in the rear probably the pads are the you can see the pistons out pretty far um let's see i don't know yeah, front brake pads have some but you can see all the oil on the shock tube or the fork tube so these seals are blown so anyway guys i gotta go i gotta get working i gotta get busy um this this is later i, I ain't worried about this he did give me the title registration i have to register it um it's good for two years i gotta put it in my name i might just have my kid go and put it in his name anyway i guess uh yeah, if I video tape something, I'll do a whole video on it. If not, then you'll just have to wait until I'm done with everything, I guess. See you guys on the next video. Peace.